I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. Of anybody or anything. Anybody or anything. Thing is, right now, I don't even have studio time like that, you know? Me, I just record in like niggas' basements, my basement. Uh, so they're never really officially done, so I don't even be sending nothing yet. But I can send you it. It's like a heavy rough copy, but you can get like the, the sound of it, you know? So I'm gonna send that right now. I've known Manny's family for the better part of 10 years. So I remember him when he was young. I really got to know him in grade nine. Um, uh, the first thing that stood out um, when I met him uh, as a child was that he was probably the most outgoing person in his friend group. And uh, in the four years that I worked with him while he was in high school in a close capacity, um, he was the center of attention no matter who he was around. Um, and he just always brought everybody's spirit up. That's what he had. He had that ability to, to fill a room with positive energy. He was kind of the guy, you know, always just running around outside late nights, you know, everybody tell him go inside, you know. He was just like, you know, he was just that positive guy. Always had a smile, you know. You could always just like, he was just like a leader, like real sweet, like you just, whatever you said, no matter if it was the hardest task, he would make you kind of believe like, you can do it no matter what, you know? But I really want a wife now. I was in the trenches and my OG told me you pipe down, you gifted with this music, so go and get it right. Listen, we're actually a group. Me, you, Toka, Rap, YSL, like, I'm telling you, music videos, Crudy, we need those. You want to make sure your family's straight? Do what you got to do, my nigga. Stop always waiting, procrastinating, my G. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my nigga. Me, I'm telling you, at first, I didn't want to be on the camera. I didn't think I would look good. I'm telling you, I have to do it, my nigga. Look at how it's going. And I'm screaming, Fiji Buck. Pussy keep on talking, I might have to let it bust. And she know who to call when it's time to beat it up. And she got hella mackers, I don't be showing love. Get me down, you know I'm sorry, you know I'm fucking with it. Yeah, I was really on my stupid shit. On the stupid shit. We grew up together, you know. So this is my cousin right here. Mm -hmm. So I've been with this guy since, like, from time. So, like, since he started rapping, I'm like, whoa, what the heck? It sounds good. Let me try this. I started doing it too. So I'm like, okay, we can make a thing here, you know? And then we got our other friends on it, everybody hopped on it. And that was FTG, you know? Yeah, me and this guy in Metro, we have another track coming up. It's called Meant to Be. And um, yeah, that's pretty much. All the other tracks are pretty much already done. We're just trying to get a music video. If you really want that smoke, then nigga, why you coughing? I got a couple niggas that'll put you in a coffin. My hitters be in the field like they play for dolphins. I got my bitch in Gucci, now my main bitch flossing. I wanna go and get it, gotta get on my guys. FTG started coming to the cave when um, Toko dropped his first song. Um, it was featuring a couple of the other guys, but it started with Toko. He dropped a couple songs that were getting some views, you know? Um, and then, like Metro, at that point, he wasn't as active in the music, but then when he saw that Toka was getting numbers and the momentum that they were getting, he started improving his craft, um, learning how to hit the notes better and how to be more efficient in the studio. And then it was just, it didn't take long before he started making his own tracks. All of this shit for my gang. I do all of this shit for my gang. Never switch up ourselves to the same. Got the phone, so stay in your lane. Been joking and running from 12. To the time niggas trying to prevail. But they'd rather just see me in jail. When uh, Metro first started coming to the studio, he started doing his own solo tracks. And, um, like, even when I thought the takes were okay, he would be asking, can I do it again, do it again, you know, do it again. 
a few more times, but he would still be doing it really quick. Um, he would get the songs done and like, like you know, under ten takes for each part, like chorus, verse, whatever. Um, and he would do the ad libs really quick, like just two la layers, and then yeah, that's how he did it. Yo, I read it heavy, but just at the ending, like for the last part of the chorus, can you make it the same way the beat is in the beginning, like the first chorus? Cause like the last part of the chorus, the beat is not how I want it. I want it to drop. Da -na 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 -na. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you understand. Let me know if you do. Oh, why the ops keep on barking? That's the reason they dropping. Yeah, I know that they plying. So we gotta get on them. We never had options. We drinking and robbing. On the corner of Lawson. Yeah, my nigga, you shot him. Mmm. -hmm. Mama tired on my way. She praying. Once he found his purpose and chased it and ran with it, the grind for him was endless. Studio nights, late nights, him talk or Reggie. The behind the scenes stuff, you know, the what the fans don't really see. Countless hours he put into the studio. And for him personally, the pain he went through, he, did, he just translated that over to his music. He knew that people would listen because, I don't know, he just had a big influence in the neighborhood at a very young age too. Like, so for someone to be that young and and everyone look up to him, even the older guys. It's just like, you know, like I said, it just speaks volumes. They try to drive me. My mama hospital, she couldn't even help me. She said he crying. She think I'm dying. Mama, I'm here now. Oh, why the ops keep on barking? That's the reason they dropping. Yeah, I know that they plying. So we gotta get on them. We never had options. We drinking and robbing. On the corner of blocking. Well, growing up with Metro, I would say, you know, I was there too, like, you know, the rough, bumpy patch and the good days you know uh, like the times like when he was grinding for football I remember the time like not a lot of people know the soft side in him like the time he lost in the finals for football I seen him break down see the tears in his eyes that's how I know he had real passion for the game and this guy he takes whatever he takes serious he does 110 percent he doesn't give up like he wants everything you know that's what he strives for why the ops keep on barking? That's the reason they dropping. Yeah, I know that they plotting. So we gotta get on them. We never had options. We doing it robber on the corner. I personally feel like when it came to him and his music, if you under if you know Metro personally, you wouldn't think anything's misunderstood because he was not just rapping about only drugs, guns, violence. If you hear, you actually listen to his music, he talks about the struggle, what we had to go through, not just situations we've been in but all the heads, other people around us in our community that we witnessed with our own eyes because we've seen a lot of stuff growing up. And then Metro, like him, he was just like, he's a unique, he's one of a kind, you know? I'll say he's the golden boy. It was becoming clear that he was someone special, that his voice um, was a special voice. That's the part that hurts the most. Rainy Days for me is an anthem for this community and maybe for this city. The city doesn't have any anthems as far as hip hop music goes. Like if you're a hip hop head, you know that every neighborhood, every um, borough, every city has anthems. They have songs that are classics, you know, certified classics. For me, Rainy Days is a certified classic. Maybe his album is a certified classic. You know, um, what what other classics did he have for us? What other things did he have to say in his music? I, I know I I knew him well enough to know that every lyric that he wrote in Rainy Days was true. He he was able to take what was happening in his life and talk about it. And he, that's the thing about him. He was real. He was real, and he put that in 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 a he put that in a song that other people can relate to and can say. And my life is like that too and that is what i see and that's how i feel rainy days has that emotion and that truth that makes it an anthem it's the soundtrack for this community for sure Best believe I'm gonna make it out. Yeah, I did this making house. You know, he believed in something. He believes in what he's doing. He has that, that full confidence 
and he goes, he works. I mean, work is, you can never hide the hard work. And this guy, uh, from mentally, uh, with his hands and his heart, uh, he worked. Uh, so I think one of the things that surprises me uh, for his person his age is how much work he was willing to put into what he's doing and how much he believed in himself. You know, this, it's, it's very hard to sometimes at, a, at this age to believe yourself, especially when the world is so big and other things are bigger and success looks a little difficult to, to reach. But he believed he could do it. And, and that's, I think, what differentiates uh, people who go really far and people who, who you know, get stuck. And you could see he was on a path uh, because he believed. Uh, and he believed that what he was going to do was going to help not himself, but his community, his family, his, his, his immediate friends as well. So that love and, and commitment to what you do is something that cannot be replaced and you cannot... Um, you know, pretend to do. It's something that comes from a decision you make in, internally. And that, that's something that always surprised me about Manny, you know, in his age, this guy just likes to work and do his stuff. They, they just see this online portrait of someone, but they will never really know what that person feels, how that person feels for the people around them, their goals, their ambitions. The people that don't really know him as a, what is a gangbanger selling drugs? All this, all this nonsense. That that's not who he was. Mitchell was a, a kind, big-hearted, loving person. He just cared, cared, cared a lot for his family. Just wanted to take his his people out, his mom, his sisters. He wanted to get them gone. He just had a lot of dreams, you know. An aspiring rapper and talented football player, that's how Manny Acol is being remembered tonight by those who knew him. The 18-year-old's been identified as the young man gunned down on Gilmore Street yesterday morning. It happened around 7.30 a.m. at a home on Gilmore between Lyon and Kent. CTV's Megan Shaw joins us with more on this. Megan? Well, Graham, a mix of feelings tonight for many. Saddened to learn the loss of an 18-year-old man known for his skills on the football field, yet frightened by the shooting that happened at an Airbnb down Rest in peace to all my niggas from here. They ain't know the pain and shit, stain and shit for real. Do this for my gang, all of my guys know the deal. I run with that thing, we're here to make a meal. I was 16 when I hopped up off the porch. I wake up to a call. Uh, it's from a, a girl, you know? She's telling me, oh, were you there? Da da da, you know? But I'm like, nah. And then she's telling me where I was. I was like, nah, it couldn't be none of my, none of my mans, you know what I mean? And then, so I call, I call Stunner, that's when I call Stunner, you know, I'm like, yo, is it true, you know? And then I had I had, had a missed call from a, a Metro also on Snapchat, you know, that's why I woke up to, but, but that phone was dead, you know? So yeah, I go call uh, Stunner, and then that's when, you know, it actually hit me, because I know it was real, you know? Already know that's my slime. Diamonds in my face, my VVS can tell the time. Out of my protect, but they're rolling in my mind. Niggas said I wouldn't make it, now I know them niggas lying. Why you gon' take my love for nothing? Why you gon' break my heart for nothing? Even love to the hate, it starts to change to the stars in the wraith. It's my time, niggas tired of the way. It was crazy, just the fact that I was I was there, you know? Just the fact that I was there is, it, 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 it breaks my heart like every day, you know? Like it's, it's not, it's not something that I could just brush off easily. For me, my life changed like drastically, you know, in the situation that I am today. So it's just like, um, I would be lying if I said I don't, I don't cry every day, you know? It's just like, it's something that I push through every day. So it's just like, for someone to have a relationship like that, and then to be gone is just crazy. Like just a blink of an eye, you know? It's just like, it's uncomfortable. And it's just like, at the same time, it's like, the fact that I'm still here alive every day and and I'm still thriving is just a blessing, to be honest. And just just to have just to know that you know he's looking down on me and just making sure that I'm I'm good and just I try to just think about the past and just be grateful for the relationship that we had. It was just like it was, it was I don't know. Just all I gotta say was a blessing. Honestly. I didn't even hear like from a, from a proper source, you know, so I, I didn't want to believe it at first, you know. 
because I had a meeting with my lawyer when I was in jail, and she came to she came through to come check with me. And then right before it started, she like, oh, um, my condolences to your cousin. He was shot. Da da da. So I'm like, well, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? She like, nah, something happened yesterday on the news. It was like three, three injured, one dead. And then I'm like, easy, you know. So the whole time we were having our meeting, I was just on my mind. I was just thinking. I was just thinking about it. Like, oh. I'm like, is it true? Is it true? One of the workers, one of the CEOs, came to me and he showed me the little article, you know. And that's when it hit me. I was like, fuck. Couldn't really do much, you know. Niggas were just. You know, when you're in jail, you can't really, you know, talk to anybody. There's no one, there's no niggas in there that I knew like that, that I could talk to about the situation, you know, how I'm feeling and shit, but pretty much I just kept to myself, you know. Crackers on my case, I've been sipping gin and juice to feed the pain away. They told my homie why they had to make him fade away. We were supposed to go from rags to riches. We were supposed to make it out and fuck the baddest bitches. They my heart in pieces, I need more than stitches. I wish my dog was here, but I need more than stitches. For M, you know we ballin' to the death of me See, every time I close my eyes, it's it affecting me And I've been tryna pray to God if he accepted me My brother watching from the sky, I know he blessing me For him, I gotta make these millions Gotta run it up and stack it to the ceiling Niggas here didn't give a fuck about how they feelin' And they weren't able to tell us anything for like hours and hours Just that someone was dead and someone else was in surgery And that anticipation of wondering, like, point blank, whether it was my cousin or my brother, it's still a family member, you know, at the end of the day. But yeah, that, that day changed, changed my family's life for forever. I know you got this pain and this bottle up inside You really made through it all, I can see it in your eyes And them niggas did you wrong, but fuck them out of guys I'ma always be there and always by your side If you really wanna know, I'ma ride for show I know niggas hang, they be hang on the low But overall, when it comes to his music I love that all, everything about his music, the rapping and the singing part Cause we're there, like all the days when it was all of us in my living room our cousins Reggie, Toka, all of us just sitting together, freestyle, and never thought that we'd make it to this point, you know? We wouldn't, the city wouldn't take us this serious. We never thought, we never pictured this would happen, you know? We'd be, so many people be wanting to watch us. You never left, bro. Even though you're not, even though the fame was there, you never left, still the same guy. Like, most people get arrogant. They're like, yo, I don't need y'all. I'm about to do my thing, I'm about to blow up, I don't need y'all. The thing is, like, him, He's like, yo, he he built himself up. So he's like, yo, I wanna help, I wanna help you guys motivate. Just do anything you want. He always said you could be anything. You could be a you could be a hooper, you could be a musician, you could be whatever, you could be all of them at the same time. It's what you wanna do. You could do it, you know? I'm pretty sure everyone like can feel it. His passing made everyone closer together. And everyone's start like looking up for each other now. Everyone's you know, checking up on each other. Like, no one's being left behind anymore. Like, his passing made everyone closer together. And to push his legacy forward, it's just, you know, like, start supporting each other. Because in the city, there's a lot of hate. There's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of envy. So if, you're, if your friend has a talent, keep supporting him because you never know where it's going to take. So that the, his, the legacy he left, it's all about just putting the, the city on the map, you know? Yeah, Metro is... Metro, he always looked out for his guys. That was like, he never left his brothers, NLMP, never. Like, he was always looking out for other people. So many people are just sitting back and being quiet and watching and saying, oh, that's not my kid, you know? But to be honest, it could be anybody's kid. It can be anybody's son. It could be anybody's daughter. You know, we, we, we are losing a lot of young people, a lot of young men uh, to, to violence. Um, that's something that I, I think as a community, we have to be honest about. Uh, we can't pretend that, you know, nothing bad happened. Something very ugly and very uh, devastating has happened. Uh, so I hope we can also reflect on the, it's, it's, it's now we, we are so focused on many, but there are a lot of fallen brothers uh, and there are more going to come. 
unless we change uh, and unless we do something about it and we can minimize that by all of us making that commitment so that that to me is is, is important as is um, everything else and, and we need to make sure we have that dialogue amongst ourselves as well as we move forward if you're really passionate about something and and you enjoy it and you love it like it's cool to chase after it, you know like people think that just because you're in the streets like you're gonna get validated or you know win an award or whatever the case may be it's just like it really just is down to the people you hang out with honestly just make sure that whatever you're doing is just like it, it means something because a lot of people just they lose faith because they see the older guys how they turned out from hooping and then now they're in the streets it's just like okay there's no hope but at the same time it's just like you can't compare yourself with them, you know? You're, you come from two different backgrounds, two different environments, and it's just like, if whatever you're doing in the streets, you're doing this shit because you have your own reason. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna knock anybody's hustle, but at the same time, it's just like, for the kids, I just really want them to like, really understand that it's not safe, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not normal. Um, just find something you really love doing. Just, you know, stay out the mix. The time that I seen him break down in tears and seen the pain in his eyes to telling me, oh, you don't know the pain I feel every day waking up in my leg, da da da. Nothing's gonna change unless we make a change and it's, you know, and we have to step up. And then he looked me in the eyes and said, you're the leader. No one's gonna listen unless you make a change. You gotta step up, lead us. So that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live, you know, I'm gonna live his words through me. You know, he's gonna be a representative. Metro's still alive, he's not dead. He lives through me, he lives through all of us, through his brothers. I mean, never seen a girl whine like that. I like the way you move, you move your body like that. And baby, when we do it, let me do it like that. I wanna come and hit her from the front and the back, yeah. And baby, let me do it proper. I got them niggas in the trenches that be posted with the llamas. All my niggas really like that drama. I be posted with them suitors and I'm posted with them rockers. I had to go get a dollar. Remember, bitches wouldn't even let me fucking holler. Now they want Metro to come do it proper. All I wanna see is your body go da da da. Oh yeah, and hey, you don't know the slums I'm from. My niggas, they tow clips go boom boom boom. Oh yeah, the police try to ask us some. My niggas, they shut up like a silencer. Oh yeah, and don't say that. My niggas swear to God they'll spray that. Oh. I don't play that, my niggas, swear to God, it was crazy. They love our drip, that's for